opportunity. And uh, I will continue where uh, Wen Fang and Ose left off. And, and uh, I'm happy to be able to introduce you today some of the research that we've been doing at Far For One Trust, and particularly in China. Uh, this little part that I'm doing now is trying to deconstruct or distangle this concept of government trust because it's used in much research, but do we really know what, or the question continuously appears, do we really know what people are actually meaning when they say that they trust the government? And as Wang Feng mentioned earlier, this uh, research that we've been doing in China over many years, just like you've been doing, is based also on that trust in different levels of government in China is distinction is distinctively different. You have very high trust in central government, whereas the trust in local governments in China are seen in surveys to be relatively low, at particularly compared. So we started out with the question about, you know, so what does it actually mean? What does trust in government mean? Oops. Uh, and so, um, aspects of trust in government, several research, projects have been done on, on different aspects of trust, and they sometimes divide them up into input aspects of trust and output aspects of trust. And this goes back all the way to Easton in 1975, when he talked about diffuse and specific support in government, where uh, we can take it further and talk about that the input aspects of trust vary just, this is roughly, but quite, um, is connected to the representative democracy, it's uh, connected to electoral systems, it's connected to democratic input factors, and I would also claim that it might be connected to cultural perceptions about government and that, you know, government in itself has a legitimate, uh, legitimacy through cultural perceptions of government. Whereas the output part, and this is Bo Rothstein and his colleagues at the Institute of Government Quality, no, Institute of Quality of Government? Government? Quality of government. Yes, thank you very much. <laughs> Has done work on this when they're dividing between the output and input sides of, of trust, and where output sides would be the performance of the government, the quality of the government, uh, related more to what Eason talks about as specific support, efficiency, what people perceive that the government has done for them, and out more related bureaucratic output factors. So taking this as a starting point, we tried to construct some survey questions that could actually tap into those different aspects. And as far as I know, this has not been done in many surveys in China, at least. So our data very quickly is a large national survey of public opinions in China. It's a cooperation between several Chinese, Norwegian, and uh, American universities. It's funded by the Norwegian Research Council on a very generous grant, also from the Foreign Ministry in Norway. So we were actually having very good data to start this with. And our questions, we were asking people both when they talked about trust in central government and when they talked about trust in local government. We asked specifically, you know, what aspects do you take into consideration when you evaluate whether to trust and or not to trust the central or the local government? And so we talked about the motivation of the government to serve the people. We asked them about the ability of the government to take action, their executive capacity, about the policies made by the government, and then specifically as the intention of the policies, you know, to what extent the policies were seen as good. Um, the legitimacy of the government, the effect of policy implementation, the real outputs for people, uh, procedures for implementation of policies, and also the morality of government leaders. And so the, the ones that I've put out in bold, and this is quite rough, uh, are the ones that we have categorized as input-related aspects of trust. The ones who are not in bold are more related to, to uh, output aspects of trust. And uh, we've done factor analysis and loadings on, on different. So we have some, some background to say that these go together in, in one way. And so what did we find very quickly, because we don't have much time, when we look at aspects of trust for central government, and I'm going to try and use this one now, we see that, you know, 
the motivation to serve the people and the intention of policies made by the government are the most important aspects when people consider trust in central government. Be after that, and relatively far da further down, is the ability of the government, the capacity, the capacity, and also the policy effects. And for central government, actually about 30% thought that the morality of government leaders and legitimacy of government were significant aspects when they were going to consider their trust. And then, does it look any different for local government? It actually does. The most important aspects of trust when you consider whether to trust or not the local government is the policy effect, the output. What did it do for you? And also the ability of the government to take action, their capacity. Not far after, of course, is still the motivation to serve the people and the policies made by the government. So it's not as if this is either or, but we see that the combination of aspects that people take into consideration are different. And by the way, these are multi-answer, so you can choose more than one aspect when you reply. Looking at morality of government and implementation of policies, they're not that important. And just to make it quite clear, I put the central and local government together, and you see that significantly higher, as, more significant, the aspects of input is more significant for central government. And also here we see a big difference. On local government, clearly it's more important with output aspects, whereas the other ones are relatively the same. And so we came a little bit further in the puzzle of finding out what it means. Well, what are the consequences? Does it really have any effect on whether or not people have high or low trust in government? So moving on, we sort of <laughs> divided between people who say that they trust the central government and people who say that they have relatively low trust in central government. Yes, you got this by now, I guess. <laughs> and we find that between high and low trusters in central government, there is a, a big difference. High, those who have high trust in government see these input aspects of trust as very important. Whereas those who have low trust don't see them as important, but the difference between high and low trusters on the output aspects of trust is not nearly that high. And, and so we might conclude that you know, for high trust in central government, Input aspects do matter. And how is it for local government? It's m more or less the same. High and low trusters take the same considerations into, or the same aspects into consideration when they decide whether to trust. And so, of course, as you understand, we asked people not if they took it into consideration or whether they trusted, but to what extent they trusted or distrusted the government. And so, very quick. Whoops, very quickly, some few conclusions, you know? From this little thing that we've done, and, and it's still a long way to go, but actually these are questions that I haven't found much in other surveys before. We do see that input aspects of trust in China matters more for the trust in central government, and output aspects matter more for the trust in local government. These are not controversial findings, but we have data on this now that we didn't have before. When it comes to high and low trust in central government, actually input is related to high trust. Output doesn't necessarily seem to make a big difference whether or not you, you choose to trust or distrust. And for local government, it's not that much of a difference between high and low trusters. And so this is a picture that Guri took on a trip we went on to the very far west of China. And I thought maybe we could keep it on for the discussion afterwards. Thank you very much.